Enjoying the fresh outside air is often a reason to get a camper van, but anyone who has spent much time in one will probably know the air inside the van can sometimes not be so much fun. Whether it's because it's hot, stale or even smelly, a confined space is sometimes not a great place. So in this video we're going to share some tips on keeping your van fresh and cool, so stick with us. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up, it really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. With four of us and a dog, hot weather, cooking, pet and body smells can all contribute to making the inside of our van a less enjoyable place to be. So here come some ways we try to make it more pleasurable. The obvious starter is ventilation. So thinking about this early in your build is vital. How will you get stale air out and fresh air in, whatever the weather is like outside? Windows are key here, so let's start with the ones every van has. You might want to consider adding wind deflectors to your front door windows so they can be left open slightly without letting in the rain and wind. For extra windows, we found bottom opening windows better than sliding ones. They can be open for fresh air even if it's pouring down outside. Fly screens let the breeze in without getting any flying nasties joining you and integral blinds mean you can have the windows open but still block out that hot sun so the inside of the van doesn't get roasting. We also have a magnetic fly screen on our door so we can have the whole door open to ventilate. We have the biggest roof light we could fit both for light and ventilation and this also has thermal blinds and fly screen. We decided that we didn't need a powered vent, but if you are limited on size, it might be worth considering. Our front windscreen cover helps to stop the inside of the van getting too hot. And using the wind out sun canopy, casts a shadow into the van to keep things cooler. Even doing all of those in the summer, things can get a bit toasty inside. So particularly when it comes to bedtime, being able to feel a bit cooler really helps. We use two of these USB rechargeable fans. They're easy to move and use wherever we want. They're pretty cheap and are effective. They do only make you feel cooler. They don't actually cool the van, but sometimes that's enough. I had always been dubious of these personal coolers and some of the claims they make, but if you are realistic and accept that they are not actually air conditioning, I've been pleasantly surprised. Unlike the standard fan, this actually does cool slightly using two methods. Soaking the filter uses evaporation to reduce the temperature of the air, and the piezo atomizer introduces a very fine mist of water vapour into the air that's blown out. The unit is USB powered, and with the atomizer and fan on full, it uses about 0.4 amps. As you can see here on the thermal imaging, you can see that the evaporation and the addition of the water vapour does cool the air slightly. What's this actually going to feel like? Well, here we can see that the air temperature is 26 degrees. Putting the temperature probe in front of the running unit and we can see that the temperature drops down by a few degrees. We found this can be improved further by freezing the soaked filter and adding chilled water to the atomizer. So in this comparison, again the air temperature is 25 degrees and we can see that in front of the running normal fan it's still 25 degrees, but it would feel a bit colder because of the moving air. In front of the chiller unit with the frozen filter and chilled atomizer, we can see that the temperature drops down to 18 degrees. 
bear in mind that this is immediately in front of the unit. There's no way this unit is going to reduce the overall temperature in a van. It would have to be blowing directly on you, but it does give some nice relief. Be conscious that the unit works by adding humidity. Keep ventilation open and don't overdo it and risk damp in your van. If we know it's going to be really hot on one of our trips and we're likely to have 240 volt hookup, we do have this. Now it is noisy, it's heavy, it takes up space and it's not that cheap at around 300 to 500 pounds. But for actually cooling the living space, it is amazing. Being able to bring the temperature in the van from more than 35 degrees down to a more comfortable low 20s pretty quickly. I've brought it out into the main area for you to see, but normally we have it in the rear of the van, venting to the outside and blowing the cold air into the van. So this remote lets us control it. This is a true air conditioner, so it has a compressor and it has to vent the hot air to outside. As you can see on the thermal imaging, it is very cold and the fan is quite powerful, filling the van with that cold air. It's rated at 9000 BTUs and that uses about a kilowatt of power. But carrying out our normal test, you can see it's 24 degrees C in our van and the air coming out of the air conditioner is a chilly 10 degrees. It's been running for about 30 minutes now and as you can see it's cooled the air temperature down from the 24 degrees it was to the target 16 degrees. While we're talking about real aircon, there are campervan and motorhome aircon units. We've not tried these as the price has put us off for how often we would use it. But if you want the best, then you really should have a look at these. When it comes to the quality of the air in your van, cooking, pets, bodies and general pollution can be a pain. Here are some ways, in addition to ventilation, we try to keep on top of it. Storing our dirty clothes in an air sealed bag means that we don't get a build up of dirty laundry smell. Having a dedicated shoe cupboard also keeps any smells contained. And when we're cooking, the rechargeable fan helps us to send most of the smell and steam out the window. We have also been using this portable negative ion air purifier that's got a four stage filtration in it provided to us by Banggood. It's powered by USB and uses gesture control to switch it on and off. A swipe of the hand sets it to automatic, low or high. The colour of the light ring on the unit indicates the quality of the air and in automatic mode if that drops it will boost the fan. Here I've introduced a little bit of contaminant and you can see the ring has gone red, the fan has been boosted and over time it clears that down to a level of green and the fan reduces a little bit and finally it clears the contaminant entirely and drops down to blue and the fan drops to its lowest level. It's difficult to gauge how effective this is, but we have felt that it does keep the inside of our van a nicer place. I hope some of that was useful. If you have any questions or tips that you want to share, pop them in the comments. If flying critters cause you problems when you're traveling, then look out for our next video where we share what we do and use to try to deal with them. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.